Hey everybody, and welcome back to this series here, where we are looking at my past-backed Kickstarters, and I, I keep saying this, but we are rapidly catching up to uh, to today. Mm -hmm. So, and in fact, I'm running out of like non-gaming related things. Like that has now caught up to my gaming related things. Uh -oh. So at some point, I guess I stopped backing other things and just was only backing board games. I guess so. Um, so they might get a little less impressive, or maybe not. We'll, we'll see. Hmm. Okay. So let's switch here. And the first one, well, there's some ups and downs in this episode. The first one is Final Girl. You haven't played this. I have not played this yet. Okay. I want. I I really want to. Yes. Okay. So there's. This is a solitaire only game. Right. Um, the thing with me and solitaire games is when they're bigger solitaire games, I have a harder time bringing them out to play. I, I prefer like solitaire games that are like smaller, like card games, like quicker play. Like mm -hmm. this is a, this is a big one. Right. And yeah. there's a lot, there's a lot going on in this one. Um, however, based on uh, one of my previous backed ones, which you would have seen was it's based on the hostage negotiator system. Right. So I basically already know how to play ish this game. Ish. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, so it was a hundred dollars. Yes. $100 is something I have not played yet. Mm -hmm. However, this theme, right? This is my kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it absolutely is. Uh, but, um, yeah, I haven't played it yet. So, basically, uh, there's a, you're the final girl. Mm -hmm. And you have to, so there's like a, it's like a mix and match type of system where there's all the different boxes where, like, there's killers and girls, right? So, you have to, like, go around the camp and save the people and... Mm -hmm. Yourself stay, and, and yourself, and stay away from the murderers, which are totally not uh, copyright infringing on any sort of thing that already exists. No, um, uh, I'm going to get to this one of these days. They're all their own people, except for Paula Deming, who is actually Paula. Oh Deming. yeah, but that was a promo. I, I think know. did that come with this? No, I got that from somewhere else. I, I got remember. that from Watch It Played. Watch It Played had it. Ah. <laughs> um, it was yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, it looks great, right? Yeah. <laughs> you have no opinion on this. Um, um, go go up a second. Minis? Go, no, go up a second. Minis? Keep going. People? This this looks like the actress from Willow. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Um, So, <laughs> solitaire game. Big, huge solitaire game. One of these days, I'm going to play this. Yes. The the Kickstarter did great, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, almost $500,000. Um, One of these days, I'm going to get this off the shelf and buy it. Yeah, there, we almost have like a whole shelf for that. That's it. Okay, so let's let's move on. Okay. The next one is, well, it's Frosthaven. Oh. <laughs> um. I mean, technically, we just backed for like. A I well, bit. Okay. I oh, backed you... for a dollar, but I ended up adding on the narration, the foreteller right. narration, which was like ten or fifteen dollars. Right. I also backed for a dollar, and then had to contact him because it was trying to charge me tax in Michigan that it wouldn't charge tax on your dollar. Yes. Yes. I it, that. it was it was a big thing, and he had to fix it. But um, our friend Corey is the one who actually yeah. paid for the game. He just got it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yes. As of the time of this recording, which he just got it towards the end of uh of twenty like Dece late December right. twenty twenty two. And we're playing it this week, and I have to put together the insert. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you got the the folded space insert. Yes. Um. Yeah. This made almost thirteen million dollars. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And not everyone has even gotten their copies at this point. Um. Probably when this this episode airs, there's mm -hmm. still people who haven't gotten there. Probably. Gotten there. It's, it's slow rollout, but, you know. Yeah, so what is there to say about Frosthaven? We played through Gloomhaven. He, Corey, our friend Corey also had backed Gloomhaven the right. second time around. Mm -hmm. and we played nearly 80 games of that. Yeah. Of course, of like three years. So many. Um, so, yeah, Frosthaven. Was, was it one of the first minis I painted was the Gloomhaven ones? I don't remember. I don't know. I mean, I painted, I know I painted some of them. The first thing you painted was? I don't think it was. You painted Mice and Mystics before you painted this, I think. I still have not finished painting well, Mice and Mystics. I still haven't finished playing it either. But that's another part. So. But Grayson's going to play Frosthaven with us. Yeah, so Grayson never played Gloomhaven. He is like, not. there's so much in here. I'm not, I'm not even going to go through all this. It's Frosthaven. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know, 83,000 people know who Fro what Frosthaven is. Yes. And times that by, you know, 100. But, um, <laughs> right, so Grayson never played Gloomhaven with us. We felt like at the time when we started playing that, he was a little too young. But, I mean, he plays anything anyway. Yeah, now. He did. He, he did. He always does, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, even, like, complex games at younger age. But anyway. So, yeah, he's going to attempt to play this with him, uh, with us. Yeah. 
We're going to try to teach it to them maybe this week as of the time of this recording. Yeah. So we'll see. Frosthaven. Back to for a dollar. Yeah. Still got the game. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's another, here's another low point. Here's Pulp Invasion. Which is the second in that series, which we've looked at twice I yes. think, already, which was the Pulp Detective series. Yes. This one I have never played. Mm. So I you don't know if you'd like it any I better. No, I opened up this. I opened it up and I'm like, eh? like, mm. what am I doing? How do I play this game? I don't understand. <laughs> um, and Love then, the art, but. And then like uh, uh, Eric Summerer also got a copy of this and he talked about it on the uh, the Dice Tower podcast back when that was a mm-hmm. thing. And I'm still like, hey, eh? like, and I got, like, what? And he, even he was kind of like a little iffy on it, I think. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Something about this, I just didn't, has not clicked with me. Even after setting it up, looking at the rules, trying to figure it out, it's a, it's a bag builder, but like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe you should try to play Final Girl and uh, Yeah, this one might never get played. This one I just might like give up on. Mm. I the, the thing is, I just I love this art so much. Yes, I know. Like, I, w- I just wish there was a more coherent game atta- yeah. <laughs> attached to it, right? Yeah. Because it's a, it's a bag builder, right? I was like, oh, that'll be fun. I don't know, 30 bucks. I don't know if I'll ever play it. I just... I wish I understood a little bit more. I wish it was a little more straightforward as far as the gameplay. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Probably get rid of it without ever playing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, this next one here. It's Dale of Merchants 3. This but is not the box? No, we, this is the first one we've ever backed. Oh. Everything else from Dale... We, we own everything from Dale of Merchants. We, we bought it either from their website or, like, in the store. I think we got one of them in the store. I don't remember. I don't remember where we got the first one either. But this is a really cool deck-building game. Mm-hmm. Um, with a ton of variability because you pick so many of these different animal cards every mm-hmm. time. And you're basically, like, setting up shops... That's the theme, anyway. It doesn't mm-hmm. always feel like that. <laughs> you're setting up shops, but you're basically just making stacks of cards of like increasing, like uh, numbers, right? Mm-hmm. This is also what you're not great at. No, but I enjoy playing it. Yeah. Well, I'm not great at it. I, I feel like I fall behind quick, and then I'm like, wait a minute, everybody else is three stalls ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what am I doing here? <laughs> like, I'm still trying to collect cards. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. This is a really fun deck building game. Um, yes. And the animal art is mm, fantastic. Yeah, so that we have all of this stuff, um, yeah. which would have cost ninety nine, but we, do, we, you know, I only needed the expansion at that point because mm-hmm. we have all of that other stuff. Yes, like four rule books. Right. Oh, that's right. Because I found it on some website, I think, to to the for the big box. Right, because I don't remember where this company is located out of. It's not the United States. Oh, yeah. Finland. Yes. So, so and I was like worried about this website. I ordered it from. I'm like, I've never heard of this website before, but yeah, so it worked. I got it. So. Was it the big box that you did that for? I think so. Yeah, because I think it was harder to get here for a while. We we got the playmats. Too. Yes, we got, got a few, four of them. Is it is it just a four player game? Yeah. So we got four. We picked out the four cutest animals, and we have the playmats. Yeah, them. I think I, I think we got the alligator. I don't remember. I don't remember which ones. You we can get today. any animal you wanted that's in the game. Where I think it's a caiman, actually. I don't remember, but we have all those promos. Yeah, I don't know. This game is really fun. Yes, I like it. I enjoy this game quite a bit. Um, seeing here, who must have some weird pictures of people. I know it's like they're like he pulled it off their Facebook pages or something. <laughs> like these are their Facebook profile pictures. <laughs> um, whatever. This game is fun. Again, yeah. this is the only one I back because everything else we had bought in, in retail. I don't think there's ever going to be any more of this. Um, they just had a new game. There's a couple of games in this universe. Mm-hmm. One is called the Dawn of Peacemakers, where it's like a, uh, it's not a, it's like a, it's kind of a, I don't know. It's not a skirmish game, but it's, it, it kind of is. And hmm. eh, it wasn't interested in that. But then there's a new one that's like a camp, like a story driven campaign, kind of like, not like Sleeping Gods, but like that kind of a game. Mm. So, and it's getting, it's been getting really good reviews. It just came out recently, but. What is this one? A quaka? I don't know. <laughs> Beaver thing. No, it, I think it's a quokka. All right. So, great game. Yeah. Fun deck building game. Huh? Here's the next one. Railroading Challenge. Yes. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Yeah. This box. The bo- it's hard to figure out that box, honestly. It's... No, I, what are you talking about? I figured, uh, it out. I figured it out perfectly. Okay, but every time I open it, I'm like, wait, how does this open again? Because it's different. I'm a huge fan of Railroad Inc. I, I love like Railroad it. Inc. Yeah, um, that's great. We had just the one, the red version for so long. Was it the red? Yeah, the red one. And we only played the red one. Yeah. And then we bought the blue one. 
around the time I think that they were kickstarting this. Yeah. Maybe, right? Maybe. No, no, maybe I added the blue one into this. You might have added the blue one because now we have all of them. Yeah, so like this, and there's so much in here. There's yeah. a ridiculous amount of content. In here. Right. We have not even scratched the surface of the amount of things in here because, like, yeah, we haven't done these tentacles. Yeah, there's, ones there's all these extra dice, tons, tons of extra dice, yeah. plus four base games. Yeah. Ridiculous. Um, but it, this, this I, I really enjoy this like route building like uh, roll and write. Um, I'll play it by myself a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And by myself, I'll usually like find somebody who played it on YouTube and then play along. That that's how I like to play this sort of game, so solitaire. And then type in the comments. I got, I scored this. He he. No whatever. He he. Um, yeah right. Not for your score. No, I'm de- I'm pretty. I think I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, you are. I think you I'm are. probably better than. I'm probably the best at this. One yeah, among pe- people rights. I've played with, <laughs> among the three or four people I've played with. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's so much in this box. Just it just yeah. it just goes on and on and on. And that that box looks like that too. It is huge. <laughs> it is. And I like Horrible Guild. I will continue to support them. They've. Um, I don't think we have those. I don't know why I would need. I don't know why I would need those. I think it it says for transport. Mm. We don't have those dice trays here. We don't need any of that stuff. But um, yeah, I'll continue to support them because they've been good to me over the years. Okay, so um, that wraps up the game ones. Here is a uh, comic that I backed that I still have not read. Oh, it is a huge hardcover. It is. Um, I don't remember seeing. It's it's in there. It's in our bedroom. It's on our nightstand. Um, So. This uh, was a comic from the '80s, so I think. Oh, okay. But, but I think this creator, the art, I think that maybe I don't know if the artist is also the writer, or maybe it's just the writer. I don't remember. Um, it's it. basically been do has been like has been ongoing like since the '80s on this. Oh, okay. Like so, this collects like all the has 470 pages. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I have not actually read it yet, so. Hmm. I'll get to it one of these days. Yeah, it says uh, it came out in the eighties as a groundbreaking series. Gail Simone wrote an introduction. Blah blah blah. Uh, this was this was this character's very first appearance in Dark Horse Presents number four, nineteen eighty seven. So I believe this guy's just been do, kind of doing this comic on and off ever mm-hmm. since. Like he he recolored him for this for this collection. Oh wow! I think somebody did. Somebody colored it. It might have been him. I don't know. I'm talking about something I'm not that familiar with. Because I haven't actually read it. Yeah. And I knew nothing about before backing it. It was just like, this looks interesting. Uh, ooh, 50 bucks. But, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. I think uh, okay, I think somebody else, one of the comic people I follow on Facebook also backed it. So usually when they back comics, I'll go look at them. Because sometimes it's something that appeals to me. Who, Justin? Uh, no, this was Stephen Bissett, actually, ah. I believe. It was either Stephen Bissett or Tony Isabella, because both of them like back a lot of comics on Kickstarter, mm. and then they post it to Facebook, and I'm like, "Oh, what's this? Looks interesting." I don't back most of it, but mm-hmm. you know, but check it out. They support a lot of those two, you know, mm-hmm. legends in the business. You Basically, know, I'll continue to support like comics on Kickstarter. So. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So one day I'll read this, just like one day I will uh, play Final Girl. Mm. What do you think is going to happen first? Me reading this comic or me playing Final Girl? Well, because it's on the nightstand, like you reading this is probably the, but you're like having. No, it's not because the one, the, the thing at the top of the nightstand is, is different and that's going to show up in another video. Oh. Maybe the next I one. I was about to say what it was. <laughs> Don't say that. It'll, okay. It, it, it may, it may, I think well, it's going to show up in the next The one. thing that pieces are falling off of. I think that's going to show up in the next one. <laughs> okay. Mm. And that, and that's at the top of the bottom. So mm-hmm. well, I'll probably play Final Girl first. Just <laughs> What I need is I need you and the kids to go to Ohio oh. for a, a weekend or, or, or a weekend. And then I can yeah. I can open that all up, spread it all over the table, <laughs> leave it set up, and yeah. and play play, play it through bunch. it all. Yeah. Not I mean, well, not, probably not play through it all, but play through it a bunch. Mm. So when are you doing that? Um, <laughs> probably not till somewhere. Oh, yeah, you need to leave like in, in maybe the, Look, within the, the next month. The kids want yeah Jesse's pool to be open by that time. <laughs> yeah all right so well i guess that will wrap up this episode and uh i hope you're enjoying this series um thank you for everyone who continues to watch our uh kickstarter look back nonsense and comments and we really appreciate the views Mm -hmm. and we appreciate the comments so uh in case i don't say that enough thank you (laughs) all right and we'll see you next time bye
Twenty nine cents for not entering the store. Ooh. Oh. Baller. <clears throat>